Hello Taurus, it's Tina from Twinkle Star Tarot. I need to Palo Santo, not Sage, Palo Santo my cards. You guys know I don't use Sage because it chases away my, my good spirits and I don't want that for them. Um, because I don't know what is happening, but you guys are the fifth, I started with Capricorn, you're the fifth reading tonight and I swear like the craziest things are happening, like you wouldn't believe. It's been chaos over here. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing good. I hope you had a very, very happy holiday season. Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, happy New Year, all of that beautiful stuff. Anything that you celebrate, I hope it was very happy. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get started. Before I get started, real quick, Taurus, big huge thank you to everybody with the Etsy shop. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, can't thank you enough. Um, free sample this month if you order a product for the first 150 orders, okay? Uh, this is called Road Opener, Abre Camino. You can look it up if you want to. Um, this is a special oil that you make for when you're doing spell work or anything like that where you want to remove obstacles or blockages to meet your goals. Every product order, not services, guys, if I'm shipping you a package, it'll come with one of these, which is a nice size little sample there. And guys, for this stuff, I need to make a whole series on my channel with how to use this stuff and how to do this stuff. I have not had a chance. I hired somebody, so I'm training her now. And so hopefully she can take over some of the administrative stuff, like, you know, answering some questions, packing orders, you know, stuff like that, so that I can really start to work more on communicating with you guys on um, how to do this stuff. Because yeah, guys, the shop, like, literally, took off. My money oil was was literally one of the top selling items on Etsy. Seriously, serious business. And you know why? Because it's fucking awesome and it works. Go check it out. I'm serious. Go look at the reviews if you don't believe me. Anyway, um, but this stuff too, I mean, even if you have like a Bath and Body Works candle or just any candle, you know what I mean? You can use it in there. You can wear this on your body. It's There's a bunch of ways to use it. I'll get into all that soon. I promise you. I promise you. I just need, I might need to hire another person, quite honestly. I think I need two people just because it's gotten to that point now. Let's just do your reading. Why am I sitting here mumbling? Why are you guys listening to me mumble? All right. One more time with the Palo Santo. Do, 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 do. Okay. Here we go. Spirit guides, universe, guardian, angels, and ancestors, this reading is for Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What can the zodiac sign of Taurus, sun, moon, and rising expect for the month of January 2019? Taurus, if you're new and you don't know how I do my readings, I do like a nine card spread. So it'll be three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future. I also clarify, do bottom of the deck overview. Um, and your 2020 year ahead forecast will be linked. It's on Vimeo, it'll be linked down below. Just go check it out if you want. Okay, let's see, Taurus, 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 Taurus. What can Taurus expect? January 2019, recent past, three cards. The lovers, oh Taurus, how cute. Some of you guys met somebody, like you might be soulmates with them too. It could be a Gemini, but it could also be just somebody that you're like very deeply connected to on a soul level. It could be about, about making a choice or decision. Look at this though, how cute. It could be a Pisces Cancer or Scorpio too, because you have the Knight of Cups, which is like very cute energy. It's like, you know, a knight in shining armor. It's typically romantic when I see that. Oh, Taurus, the Palo Santo worked, yes. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. All systems go, Taurus. The timing is right. Very fortunate faded events happening for you this month or may have just happened for you. I love it. Can we get a bada bing, bada boom? All right, there's your recent past, Taurus, and it looks brilliant, okay? And if that's not your recent past, you can expect this in the present-ish energy, okay? Now let's look at your present energy, Taurus. Okay, present energy for Taurus, present energy for Taurus. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so funny. The Ace of Cups, thank you, Spirit. That is so nice. That's a new love, Taurus. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. The Strength card, <laughs> that's Leo. Okay, I love this, I love this. This is, um, this is somebody that you can really count on and the good news is that you can trust them but it is also infinite. I'm sorry about that noise, guys. It's my iPad and that is the noise Etsy by proxy just makes when somebody makes a purchase so I didn't put that on there, it just does that. Okay, um, it's very annoying, it, uh, like, yeah, trust me. Okay, um, let's see. 
Anyway, it could be a Leo too. But the Five of Cups, why is there sadness involved with this Taurus? How funny. So like you need to cheer up Taurus because like right now, if you would just pick your damn head up and turn it around, the Two of Cups is right there. And you know how I know that? Look at this, look at this. This is crazy good, all right? This is a really good, but for some reason, there's still an element of sadness surrounding this store. Is why? All right, let's go in your near future. Five of Swords reversed. Okay, the ending of drama, petty arguments, fights, quarrels, or conflict. Okay, ending of that. The Hierophant, there you are, Taurus, and there is that commitment, there's that stability, there's marriage, okay? It's institutions, organizations, and corporations is what the Hierophant is, and it's also Taurus, all right? So we've got something happening here, and like, I don't know, this could be like a resurrection of your relationship or your marriage if you're already involved. This can also be about work, though. Remember the corporations thing, okay? Um, it can be about work. I'll read it that way in just a second. All right, let's see. One more card for Taurus. Six of Swords. That, okay, this is the best reading by a landslide that I've done so far. Look at the bottom, the sun. Shush, I'm pulling it out. Okay, the sun is joy, happiness, contentment. It's also Leo, Leo. You've got a lot of Leo here. Six of Swords is moving past the Five of Swords, which is that conflict, that drama, that argument that I was talking about. You're moving past that and into commitment. Taurus, in a nutshell, if you've been in a relationship that you have been having problems in, this is just going to be so much better for you. So much better for you. If it's been work, you could be getting a new job. You may have an opportunity between two new jobs, okay? Or it could be like your old job and your new job, trying to make a choice or decision. There's an offer, the Wheel of Fortune comes in, the Ace of Cups, the Strength card, okay? You are supported, Taurus, whatever this is. Let me just clarify. Why is the lovers here in the recent past for Taurus? The two of wands. Again, moving on in a, in a partnership, making plans to move on. You could have met someone online, Taurus. Very possible. Okay. Um, also, let me see here. It's positive. It's just very positive. All of it's positive. Travel could be involved. You could be dating somebody that's foreign, or it could be, you know, you could get a job opportunity that's online or, you know, that's at a distance from you as well. The Knight of Cups for Taurus. The Tower. See, this is a Scorpio, but this is also like a giant change, okay? And the, the tower here actually brings in something extremely positive for you. Typically, we associate the tower with like massive changes that are very scary, Taurus, but not here. Okay, this, this can be scary, I guess, but it's scary good. You know, it maybe feels too good to be true, but it's not. It really is this way, Taurus. It's, it's awesome. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is also somebody who stands up for herself and she is somebody who takes action. So the action, you may need to take some sort of action here, Taurus, that's what I'm thinking. Huh, okay, Ace of Cups, let's keep going. Judgment reversed, okay, interesting. Judgment reversed is an interesting card. So it's, it's misjudging a situation, and that's what I'm thinking. Maybe that's why the Five of Cups is here, is because you think this is too good to be true. But you've misjudged that. It's not too good to be true, Taurus. It really is what it is, okay? Strength card. The Justice reversed. Okay, so Libra energy here. Could be that something was or is imbalanced, okay? It could be that there's, there, this is about court too, so judgment and justice together especially. Court matters may not have gone exactly the way you had hoped or planned, or they might not be going the way you hoped or planned, but really what's happening underneath the underneath it all, Taurus, is very good. Okay, Libra energy too. Um, maybe you're coming out of a divorce. That could be the tower, you know, with the court issue as well. Um, definitely could be divorce, and all of a sudden you're swept off your feet by someone new that you don't expect at all. Okay, you or that person could be getting out of a divorce or a marriage. Five of Cups, the Knight of Swords. Okay, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, moving forward very fast and just with all your might, okay? Don't hold back, don't hesitate, all systems go. You need to take that air sign energy and 
get out of your funk if you're in the funk, Taurus, because it's stopped. There's no reason to be in the funk, okay? Five of swords reversed, nine of swords. Yeah, there's no drama, there's no conflict, but for some of you, this makes you anxious because you don't know how to act. You don't know how to act if everybody's not crazy, right? If everybody's not fighting and going at each other's throats. You're like, what? How, how does that work? <laughs> so funny. All right, let me see. The Hierophant, commitment, marriage, stability, also new jobs. The King of Cups reversed, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like, Taurus, somebody's upset that you moved on. It's probably your ex or your old boss or a coworker. Somebody's, like, upset at your happiness, you know? They're upset because you're being very successful and that you're moving forward so positively. All right, Six of Swords. The nine of wands, defensive. So you still have your guard up at the end of the month is what it looks like, Taurus. But really this, I mean, if we're moving on out of the month with the six of swords, that's beautiful. It just means like you don't really need to worry about much. I don't see anything here that you need to worry about. Trust me, I would tell you the only thing that I see is this king of cups reversed, okay? And that's either like that Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or it's somebody who's emotionally, they're upset or they're unstable distraught, you know, something like that. But other than that, mm -mm. you are in like Flynn, my beautiful friend. I'm so happy for you, Taurus. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad somebody had a good reading. All right, Taurus. Um, links for everything will be down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I love you guys. Have a wonderful month and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.